Hello, hello! Welcome to another episode of Super Team. Today I'm here with uh, Cash Danda. Cash, welcome to the episode. Today's episode is very cool. We you know we keep hearing Cash about Web three, Web three. You know, oh, oh this, this is the future, etc., etc. Et and the way to interact with anything in the Web three world is through something called a wallet. Today we're going to be checking out how to set up and install and use uh, a Web three wallet. The wallet we're looking at today is the Phantom Wallet, which is one of my favorite. Web3 products. There are two main really popular wallets out there. The first one is called MetaMask, which is the wallet that you can use to interact with anything on the Ethereum network. Phantom is a wallet that you can use to interact with anything on the Solana network. There are many videos out there that tell you how to use MetaMask, but not too many for Phantom. And it's a, it's a beautiful app. I really love this app. So I thought we should make a quick tutorial how to set up a wallet and how to use it. Cash, take it away. Yeah, so I think uh, Phantom is indeed one of the best Web3 products out there and wallets in general are super important, right? Wallets end up being like your passport to this new world of Web3. Um, and like passports, some are better and some are worse, right? Like the Pakistani passport, not so great, but the Singaporean passport, really strong, right? Phantom is like the Singaporean wallet of Web3. Did you have to say Pakistan? There was no reason to say Pakistan. There's so many <laughs> options. I, I hear that their memes are savage though, you know, so I thought I would uh, throw them in. <laughs> All right, so you guys can clearly see Cash is an extremely rich billionaire. That's why he uses an iPhone. Sadly, <laughs> Phantom is not out on Android yet, but they are planning to release one on Android very, very soon. But the thing is that if you have a wallet, you can log into it from your phone or also a desktop, a Chrome plugin. Towards the second half of the video, we'll show you how to plug into the same wallet from either your desktop or your phone. What you need to do, grab your phone, head over to the App Store and search for Phantom Wallet up top. You'll find it right here at the top of the search results. And then you can just download the app. It is entirely free. So once it's downloaded, you open it up and you'll be shown the screen. We'll let it use Face ID. Uh, you will be taken to this lovely screen and you'll find a few quick facts about. So the first one here is that it's non-custodial. That means that you are the only owner of the wallet at all times. No one else has any access to this. Uh, the second thing that's great about Phantom, you can have all your NFTs and look at them here. Uh, so it's really handy if you're into trading NFTs. You can stake and swap tokens. We'll show you how to do that in a bit. And you can use dApps, which are just decentralized apps. They're basically just programs on the blockchain. All right, so then we'll hit create a new wallet. Uh, it'll first ask you if you wanna use Face ID, I'll hit next. And here you will see a very important screen. This is your secret recovery phase phrase. These 12 words will give you access to your account if you ever, for some reason, lose it. It's kind of like your password, right? That's right. Yeah, this is like your password. You should protect it. So you definitely want to write these down somewhere. Best security practice, write it down on a physical piece of paper and keep it somewhere safe. Uh, you can also click this button to copy it to keyboard, and then you can write it uh, or save it in a document as well. Once you have saved it, you said, OK, I've saved it. So it'll prompt you again to say, have you written this down? I'll say yes. And that'll take me to the next screen. Look at all that confetti. So the secret recovery phrase, if I know it or if I've written it down somewhere, I can basically log into my wallet from any other device whenever I want to, from desktop or from some, from a new phone. So this will be the phrase anytime you need to restore your wallet. So let's say that your phone gets run over by a truck. You need to buy a new phone. You want to bring that same wallet onto your new phone. You'll use the secret recovery phrase to reinstall the wallet. When you actually just access the wallet on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't need all 12 of those words. Uh, mine will just use face ID. You could just use a password. If you don't want to use face ID, that also works. So you don't need all 12 words every time you come in, but they are the ultimate kind of backup. That's your safety net to make sure that you never lose control yeah. of your wallet. So if anyone ever tells you, hey, by the way, do you want to hang out? Maybe you can tell me your you know, secret recovery phrase or your seed phrase. Uh, don't meet that person. That date is not <laughs> worth it. Yeah. So once you're into the uh, wallet interface, you'll see a few tabs here. Uh, and why don't we start off with like the easiest and most important thing, right? Which is adding tokens into your wallet. Uh, so what you want to do is hit deposit, this big purple button here, and you have a bunch of different options. The first is you can buy it with MoonPay, uh, which I believe does work in India. You can actually just use your credit card or bank account to buy uh, Soul and add it to your account very simply. The second most popular option, you can use FTX, which is a very popular uh, exchange. Uh, so if you have an FTX account, you can buy it there. Again, you can use fiat. By the way, FTX is not in India yet, but it, I'm assuming at some point they will be. One of the problems there is that in India, none of the exchanges have built in SPL support. 
SPL support and ERC20 support are like one is for the Ethereum network, which is ERC20, and SPL is for the Solana network. So from a lot of exchanges, you can't transfer funds out of the exchange into your wallet. Like that's not possible yet. But in case you need funds here, you can either get someone else who has Solana or USDC on Sol, or you can use FTX or Moonpay. And so right now, because I have a similarly rich billionaire friend in Tanmay Bhatt, he is going to send me some Solana directly to my wallet. Super easy to make this happen, right? <laughs> Up at the top, if you click on wallet number one, you'll see it just copied my wallet address. Your wallet address is just a long string of numbers and letters. Uh, it's semi-random, so it's very hard for anyone to guess. But that is kind of the key thing that you need to do. So you'll want to copy that just by tapping on it once. Uh, and then I will send this over to Thunmei, who will send me one soul. And we can see in real time how fast that is to get. Okay, so I copied this from the Zoom link. Now I'm going to open my Phantom. This is my Phantom account. I'm going to go hit send. I'm sending you cash 0.3 sol. Okay. This is what I have in this wallet. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Let's see how fast this actually is. And the network fee here, it says 0. $0.00054, okay. Refreshed and boom, right there we go. So thank you very much, Thame, for the 33 cents worth of soul. You have to say, I have no other soul <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Let's talk about that after the, after the record. <laughs> Now that we have some soul in the wallet, you can see it reflected right there. It's really nice. Every day that you come in and check, uh, Phantom will tell you how your position is doing. So you can see Solana's up 10.85% today, which is great. Uh, and you can add other tokens as well, right? You don't have to just stay with the Solana token. So let's say I want to add USDC, which is a prominent stable coin. Let's say I want to add uh, Soul Razors token. I'll add that one here. So now the question is, we have some tokens in the account. What can we actually do with them? Uh, the first thing you can do is swap them. So on the middle tab down here with these two arrows, uh, and you can put in any number of whatever you want to swap to something else. So if I had 10 soul, if Thunmei was a little bit more generous with the soul that he had sent over, I could swap that over to $1,000 of USDC if I wanted to. You can also choose other coins. It's not just USDC. You might want to switch over to Radium or something else. The other thing that you can do directly within here, if you have soul, you can actually stake your soul and start to earn some passive income. Uh, so proof of stake networks like Solana have this feature where anybody can stake soul, which means basically kind of hand it over to what's called a validator, and they use that to validate transactions. Mm. Uh, if you click on stake your soul, you'll see all these different options for people that you can give your soul to. Uh, you'll see the fee that they take over on the right side. It's mm. almost always 10%. Uh, and if you give your, let's say I want to give it to ISO, uh, you can put your soul in here, hit next, and it'll show you exactly uh, what's going to happen. You can expect to earn about 6%, give or take, uh, just by staking your soul. So if you have some Solana and you want mm. to earn 6% on it, just pop it right in here and start to stake it you will be good to go. Don't want to do that right now though. So let me go back. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't, don't <laughs> take your uh, 0.3 dollars worth of sol, okay? Tuma, what are you gonna do with all the returns that you get? You know what they say, man. More, more money, more problems. So I'm not gonna bother with that right now. <laughs> so the other thing that you can do here is send these tokens out to another person or another wallet, another organization really easily. You just click the send button, choose the token that you want to send and then add in their address right here. If you happen to be next to them in real life, you can also click this little icon up on the right that'll let you scan a QR code of their wallet and immediately do it so you don't have to type in all those letters and numbers. So outside of normal kind of fungible tokens, Phantom also supports NFTs, non-fungible tokens. So the second icon from the left right here will show you your collectibles, which is effectively your NFTs. Um, so I have only one here from Soul Sims, and you can see I get to see the art, which is nice. I can see all the properties in here as well, uh, and I can send that to anyone else really quickly, the same way that I was sending other tokens. Guys, this is not an advertisement for Soul Sims. Please don't go out and buy Soul Sims. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck is a Soul Sims. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, either do I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last really cool thing that Phantom allows you to do that's pretty unique is they have a built-in DAP browser. Again, a DAP is a decentralized application. So if you go to that last icon on the far right, the one that looks like a little globe, it is a full browser here. So let's say we want to go to Solend right here. So Solend is what's known as a money market. Uh, it's a really nice application to use on the Solana network. And up, up at the top, you can see it says connect wallet. If I just click that one button, Right there within the app, it allows me to connect and boom, I'm good to go. But that is the DAP browser. That allows you to use any DAP 
uh, that's there in the Solana ecosystem directly from within the app. Now within Phantom, like this is one wallet, right? Like, can I create multiple wallets within that one wallet? You absolutely can, and it takes one click. Uh, if you go to the menu on the upper left and hit add or connect wallet, I'll just hit create a new wallet. And, you know, in less than 10 seconds or so, mm. I have now have a new second wallet. Yeah, so you could rename Sorry. this, right? Like one is like your private wallet. One is like your public wallet address that you give people out. One can be like DeFi wallet. One can be an NFT wallet. Uh, if I knew how to spell, that would help. But yeah, there we go. Uh, and indeed, it's good practice to have multiple wallets for different uh, purposes. That way, not all of your eggs are in one basket. The only last thing to know that if you're doing a lot of transactions in the Solana network, you have a lot of friends that are using Solana. If you click up here on the menu and go to settings, there's also an option for an address book, which allows you to save the addresses of people that you're commonly transacting with. So let's say I want to save Thunmei's address. I would just write his address down in here. Uh, that way it becomes even easier to send funds out in the future. And what is that lightning icon at the bottom? The lightning icon shows you all the recent activity right here. Uh, so it's just a nice way to know what has been going on in your wallet. You can check this back at any time. If you click on it, it'll take you to Soul Scan, which is what's called a block explorer. And this allows you to independently verify uh, that on the actual blockchain, your transaction happened. Actually doing Etherscan or Soul Scan and understanding what is happening on each page, that's a whole separate video in itself. So we'll get into that yeah. later. Now, this is currently available only on iOS uh, and it's going to come out on Android soon. But a lot of people who are watching this, in fact, most of them would be Android users. So what I want to do is do a quick demo of how you can open a wallet on a Chrome plugin. And what we'll do, Cash, is let's log into this very wallet onto the Chrome plugin. So now if we look at the desktop application, if you just go to phantom.app, that'll be the place to download this. This is the official site, it's very safe. Right now I'm using Firefox, so I'll click on Firefox, add to Firefox. Uh, it'll take a second to install. So now that I have it installed, I can click on Phantom right up here, and I can use my secret recovery phrase that we saw earlier mm. on the phone wallet to bring the wallet in here. So now I just need to get my secret recovery phrase again. And then it'll ask me which accounts do I want to bring in. When you do this, you will see a whole list, right? And that's because every time you create a new wallet with Phantom, they actually create a whole bunch for you in case you ever want more down the line. So we can see that my primary wallet is here, the one that has just that 33 cents of soul. And then I can also choose to bring any of all of these in. It's basically an infinite list, uh, but I'll take this one as well and I'll click. Here. Then I'll need to create a password. I'll just use this for right now and I'll save it. I'm all done, finish. And if we go back up to Phantom in the upper corner, we will shortly see, and boom, there it is. Uh, here, you can see that we have the tokens that we had from the phone. You can see my NFTs are all right here, and then I can still do all the same things. I can swap, I can see the notifications, uh, even though these happen on my phone, it still shows me the notifications here. And just like that, I have a Phantom wallet and I can explore everything that the Solana ecosystem has to offer. Okay, but the main thing you've missed, which is sending me my money back. So can you please do that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I unfortunately I have to get on another call if I may. Uh, why don't we talk about this later? Do you actually? Yeah. So that is how you use Phantom. It is super simple. Whether it's your first time in crypto or you've been in crypto for years, equally easy to use for anybody. Your wallet can interact with any app out there. No one can tell you that you're not allowed to. That's what it means when we say that Web3 is open. And your wallet completely belongs to you. No one can take it away from you. That's what we mean when we say that it's owned. Uh, so get your wallet today. Get into the Web3 world. Start to get comfortable with it. It's going to become more and more important over time. Uh, and trust me when I say that it's a lot of fun as well. Wow. Is that? Are you done with your speech? <laughs> I got like another 20 to 30 <laughs> minutes uh, if you'd like me to, to keep going. Uh, uh, it's fine. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's episode. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, go tinker around, have fun, enjoy, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>